Hello, and welcome back to the madness. Okay, so I've learned some things, first of all, that waiting till the end of the night to do my Floss 2 vlog is not working. So, we're going to do it before, and I'll tell you what I did last night, because I was supposed to do it the last two nights, and I kept forgetting, and yeah. So, um, for the last two nights, I've been working on the, what is this, yearly? March. So finally the sheeps are coming in. Um and I'm working on the grassy hill, I guess is what it is. So I'll be doing that. I really feel like I'm gonna be able to finish this one tonight. And then I'm not sure if I'm going to do April's yearly. That'll be this one. Here, let's see you in some I don't know if I'm gonna start on that or um we can work on April's country which ooh, that one that border looks fun too we might work on that or we might jump over to this but I know this weekend these are the three projects that I will be working on so, I'm quite happy. And the goal, after I got off my floss tube and really thought about it, the goal for this month is to get all three Aprils done. Which, um, April is done. It's just, I have to um, fully finish it. But... In one of my games, there's, um, what are we doing? It's dual fencing. So, you have to link your projects. And these three, I think I can link multiple times to see how long I can get the chain going. So, that's why these th are the three projects that I will be working on all weekend long. Who knows, maybe all week, too. Just depends on how many um, more links I can get. Once I start going, I can't repeat. And I can't use two projects in the same time. So, um, I think it's going to be fun. So, I will come back on here tomorrow and let you know what I've completed. And what I started working on later on tonight um i love this sheep how i did its eyes <laughs> it's getting a little wonky um i'm loving the beads oh my gosh oh i could put some beads in the cherry too the cherry tree i think these are cherry blossom trees i don't know but yeah every time i can figure out how to add beads i'm doing it because i really enjoy having beads on the projects these yearly ones i won't put it on everything but when i can i will because i got enough and i want to start using the different colors that's why i was like oh i could do the cherry blossoms too so super excited okay so i'm gonna get stitching i had to go post all my pictures for all my games and figure out um what i have to post and what i don't have to post and all that fun stuff and then i can start stitching so yay okay bye guys okay i remembered guys it is saturday saturday so what did we do yesterday well we finished this little guy well as much as i can finish it so there's back stitching back here there's back stitching here and there's back stitching here well i guess yeah it's called back stitching right um yeah so Becca's going to work on that for me. Yay. Um, I still don't know if I want to put some beads. I don't know. I think I'm just going to leave it with the, the sheep size. And then I started working on this. So I got this part down here all done. And then I started. You can't really see it. I don't like how the um the floss is just blending in too much but it's okay i don't care um 
I did the one line up and did the little chimney. So hoping to get lots of progress on this tonight. So this is what we'll be working on tonight. And I don't think I'll finish this one. Um, there's no way I'm going to finish this one. But tomorrow we are going to work on April's country sale. So we're getting them done because I got to start making my links for the dueling. So I'm using these three whips. So pretty excited. But we got Jen up on the floss tube and going to stitch our little heart out and fill our rainbows. So yay. Stitching game talk. Um, in Hell's Kitchen, we're making rainbows. So making rainbows and in the dinosaur one, I'm stitching food and souvenir items. So that's what I'll be doing tonight. Okay, see you in the next one. Hello, it is Sunday, Sunday. We got a lot done yesterday. We put the flag, the pot, the grass, and did a whole bunch of fill-in. So I did 900 stitches last night. There's probably another four to 500 in the house because each strip is 100. Um... So, I'm thinking probably 500. And then we have to do this exact thing over here. There's a dog here. I don't understand. Why would you put a cocker... It looks like a cocker spaniel. Why would you put a cocker spaniel on the roof? I don't know. Then you have down here... I don't know if it's alpacas or sheep. But Becca says it's sheep. I mean, Becca says it's alpacas. I say it's sheep. She says they're too tall for sheep. And the word may. But I don't know. I think it's like lamb. But I don't. I, I really don't understand. But anyways. So that's our goal for today. Um, And of course doing the cleaning the house. Because it's Sunday. But we're hoping to get lots of stitching in too. So I will come back tomorrow and show you what happened. Bye. Hello. It is Monday, Monday. I know, I know. I didn't get far. I only did like 300 stitches. I just wasn't feeling like myself. So, and I figured, you know what? It's my day off. I'm not going to push myself. So, I just played on my phone and relaxed. But I did do 300 stitches. So, it's not the normal thousand that I wanted to get, but it's okay. So, I'm going to start stitching now and let's see how far we can get. I'm hoping to at least get the house done. I think I can get the house done. And the dog, I still can't believe there's supposed to be a dog on the roof. But basically, I want to get a Q-snap today. Or not Q-snap. Hoop. Move the hoop. Move the hoop. Move the hoop. Okay. I'm crazy. I'm going to stitch now. See you tomorrow. Hey, it is Tuesday, Tuesday. So, I moved the hoop and I forgot to do a um, clip yesterday. But... You can kind of see we got the house done. There's a dog on the house. I don't understand it. And now I'm starting to do the other. Is this called a trussle? Or I don't know what this thing is called. But I'm going to finish that. I'm hoping tonight that I get this done. I don't know how long I'm going to be able to stitch tonight. Um, We came home and... Me and Becca took a nap together. Well, all of us took a nap. John was already in his, in our bedroom. And then me and Becca were out here sleeping. So it's been kind of a late start of stitching. It's nine o'clock already. So I don't know how long I'm going to stay up and stitch. But the goal is to get this. And I should be able to get this done. And then hopefully I remember when I take it out of the hoop, I'll come on for a quick clip and then all that's left is the two animals sheep alpaca i don't know and the letters may so i'm hoping this will get done by tomorrow um i don't think i'm gonna move the hoop and get this done but if the stitching goes fast we'll see where it goes so i will come on later or tomorrow and let you know where i'm at then Okay, so here it is. Time to move the hoop. 
one last time. So I think it's beautiful. I still don't understand the dog on the top of the roof, but oh well. Okay, so tighten with the root, the hoop. Okay, it is, what is it, Wednesday? Wednesday, Wednesday. Okay, I know. I just realized I didn't do a clip, so I'm like, oh, let me jump up right, jump on right now. So I am. So we, there we go. We got to finish. I'm loving it, loving it, loving it. This weekend, I'm going to do a whole bunch of, um, because, well, you can't see. Can you see? I'm going to be right there. It's missing. So, um, it's probably too dark, dark and you can't see. But I got to get all of my, um, months finished. Fully finished, I should say. So, I really like how it came out. And then I started, let's just put that right there. I started, so this is April. Yeah, because I finished March and now we're on to April. So, yeah, just stitching along. I love when my, my border matches up. I was like holding my breath and I'm like, <gasps> Okay, I did it right. I can count, so yay. So this is all I'm doing tonight is just working on the border and then I will do the middle tomorrow. So I will check in tomorrow and let you see what I did. Hello and welcome back. It is Friday, Friday. So yesterday I did not stitch. Oh, here's my progress. But I thought I would do a little stitch with me um, because I have made some decisions. My goal, now I know I'm not going to complete all of them this year, but my goal is to get down to only a few whips. Now, my monochrome, like the library, um the the ones that just use one color the castle the dragon um i'm not gonna focus on those i'll work on those because i'm still gonna be doing like the spell out which i think next year i won't be able to do the spell out because i'm really thinking about just having um just a few whips and the reason i'm thinking this is because I bought the Pip and Chip bobbins, right? And I was sitting here, I'm like, I'm never going to use them. Because I don't want to have them all over the place. I don't want to be like, oh, I think this number is in this box. So I was thinking, first I was thinking something really crazy of being like, only working on only have my monochrome ones and one project. And I'm like, no, that's just crazy. So then last night I was thinking, well, instead of doing that, what I could do is I could have like three or four projects, depending on how big they are. Because I've decided to, I don't want to do a whole bunch more big ones. I want to keep it on the small side because I'm really enjoying making the pillows. And then um, I want to do, I don't know if it'd be more like theme stuff but like you know the summer I bring out this um I want my gallery wall to constantly be changing and I want to stitch things from my gallery wall basically so I was you know sitting there thinking and last night it hit me I'm like well if I could, like do only concentrate on like three or four projects and I'm gonna do this well first me and Becca have to get the whole pip and chip um bobbinated and then I'm going to go get um three or four of my small to medium projects and I am going to put them all in one case now I decided that I was going to do that with like all my beach ones so because I was finding that the beach 
themed ones use a lot of the same color because it's beach theme, right? So I was thinking last night, I don't want to have all the same, like, I think it's called ecstatic. You know, I want, I want variety. I want to have fall and winter and spring and summer, whatever I feel like working on. I want to be able to work on it, but I want to be able to work through my pip and chip and not have to have a thousand boxes, even though I've got a thousand boxes. <laughs> well, more like probably about a hundred boxes, but I don't know. That's what I was thinking. That way I could use my pip and chip. DMC and all that, you know, the brand new. Here we go. Turn on the camera and I'm going to start yawning. I can already feel it. Um, can you guys see? I kind of did a different angle today. So I'm hoping this works out because I miss talking to you guys, just randomly talking and telling you what's on my mind. Um, so that's my whole plan is to see if I can just start working out of a box like this. It will be one of these boxes and just have it full of the pip and chip and see how many projects I can actually fit in one box. And I mean, if I had to, you know what? I could do two boxes. I wouldn't want to do more than two boxes though, because then it would be a, a little um, crazy. I really don't want to do more than one box, but... Two would be manageable because I could kind of, like when I sit down anyways for the night, I usually know what three colors I'm going to be stitching on. So I could pull those the night, be, you know, when I sit down and I'm thinking about um, quitting some more games because I feel like all I do is post and I'm sick of posting pictures on all these games. And some of them, I don't know, they're just... I don't know. The one, I feel like I'm the only one stitching in the game, basically. Once in a great while, um, someone else will. Which I know... Okay, I don't want to get into it much. I'm not like... Um, I understand things happen. But I think there's like four of us on the team. And it's just... Basically, me stitching and this one girl stitching once in a while. I feel like we're getting nowhere. Um, then the one, I don't know. I think, I think it would be better if I did the code words, but I'm not doing code words. I hate how they mess up my pictures. It's bad enough that I, I hand write a number, but I'm not going to try to. And I know people are like, well, you just put it on a piece of paper and you put it under your needle minder. It's like, no, I don't like code words and I'm not using code words. So I'm thinking about leaving the one that every weekend they have a code word because I feel like I'm not participating. All I'm doing is putting my stitches in most wanted and for the gems. And it's like, I don't feel like, ah, oh, of course you're going to do that, aren't you? I just feel like, I don't know. It's a waste of time for me. It's not fun anymore. Um, I think that's, I think I'm only going to leave two, but I don't know. I keep going back and forth. So I'm going to make my mind up in April. See what happens. Um, and the one, it's like, I don't even care about the theme. So I don't know. We will see. We will see. I'm just sick of taking so many damn po pictures. Um, which, I mean, I have already left quite a few um, groups. So, it's not as bad as the first of the year. So, I don't know. But... I really want to just get the pip and chip um, all bobbinated and then to work with my pip and chip because 
I just love how thick they are. They stand up in the box so well. I paid good money for it. So, I don't know. Oh, shoot. We got snow today. We got not as much snow as they said that we were going to get. Yesterday was the reason I didn't stick yesterday is because we were pushing all of today's orders for yesterday because we weren't sure, you know, how big of a storm, which was a good thing we did it because we still worked kind of late today. There was close to 50 orders. So it was just, it was a very stressful day. I'm just glad it's the weekend. I plan on just stitching, stitching, and stitching. Um, I think, what is this? This is March, I think. So my goal is to get, yeah, this has to be March with the colors. Um, March and April kind of wanted to get May done too. Um, I'm hoping to have this one done by this week. Mm, I keeps doing that. Hi, baby boy. You can come say hi to the peoples. Come up here. You gotta come a little bit closer. Nope. He's not gonna do it. Let me see if I can show you. He's right there. He does not like the noise that this makes when I move it. But anyways, um, yeah, so I really, it's got a little knot. No, okay, we got it. Um, what was I trying to say? Um, wow, I just lost it. Mm, that's right. It was with, it was all about this, right? Okay, let's see if I can get you in without scaring him. Because I kind of liked where I was before. I felt like you were really seeing, but now I, of course I moved it and now I screwed everything up. Ooh, I think that's where you were. Okay. So, um, my goal really is to, by the end of the month, to have all the way through May. And then by the end of May, I would like to have, no, by the end of, this is March, by the end of April, I would like to have both Junes, all the Junes done, right? May, June. So each month I'm working for two months away because then when I get to May, at the end of May, I should have June and July to, because I don't like to stop and just FFO one of them. I like to have quite a few to like knock them out at once. So I don't know. If not, I guess I can knock all three different kinds out, you know. I don't know. I just can't wait until this year is over. And then next year, when it's that month, I just bring them out. Oh, and Becca told me too. She goes, uh, you know what you're forgetting to do? And I'm like, what? She's like, what about the vibe trees? I'm like, oh, we have winter done. I just have to FFO it. And she says spring starts um, the 20th. So I said, okay, remind me on the 20th and I'll start the spring one. Which really I should. I really should start the spring one and have it done and ready to be put out during the first month, of, the first day of spring, right? What, what was I thinking? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Oh, no. Okay, we're just going to end it there. I don't think it's a double, is it? Oh, man. 
oh, where did I go? I think here. Okay. And then here. Okay. Can I pull it now? I wasn't paying attention. Nope. <laughs> I went far. <laughs> Shit. Oh, did I go here? Nope. Oh. You know, I'm just going to end it here and deal with it. I got a knot anyways. It's probably in the damn knot. Whatever. Yeah, so, I don't know. I've been doing some thinking. I mean, I like doing the spell outs, but then I really don't like doing the spell outs. And that's the only reason to have a whole bunch of whips. That's why I started a whole bunch last year. Because I think before I only had... I don't know, maybe 10 going at a time. Now I have like something like 40 of them. So, I don't know. I just want to get things done. And I'm really supposed to put in a thousand stitches. Well, I really need to finish the chapter on Harry Potter. But I just don't like how they go into Pattern Keeper. And it's just, it's just a headache. So, I kind of just want to put Harry Potter up for another year. But I know if I keep procrastinating on it, I just need to finish it. So, I don't know. I kind of just want to bring out the Gilmore Girls and just finish it. Because that one was fun. I like the little motifs. And that's what I found out, that I'm a motif person. I think that's what they're called. Um, nope. Oh, see, I am having a hard time today. Should have seen before I even got on here. And I gotta find where it is. I hate the starting one, too. Um... Shoot. There it is. Um. I know I'm saying I'm a lot too today. Okay. So. I don't know. It's just the Harry Potter ones just driving me up a wall. Then I was thinking, well, in one of the squares. I could just do. <gasps> ooh. I just remembered there's one that has a whole bunch of motifs that I really like. I could fill up the one chapter with just the motifs and it's the chapter. Ooh, okay. I think I'm going to change. I know I really need to just finish. I just need to buckle down and do it. But I think, um, the next time I pick it up, which is April, May, June. No, that doesn't. No, Oh my God. I don't know why I keep thinking it's April. This is March. So May is the next time I pick it up. I know what I'm doing. Or you know what? I might, I don't know. I just want to get it done now. I think it's putting it away too. That is messing me up. I don't know. But then I got to keep telling myself, well, you haven't even done your main characters for the month. But then last month, I used um, tickets. And I think I have more tickets. So it's like, uh-oh. That stitch is coming loose. Um, so I'm like, well, why don't I? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, Becky, get it in focus. Um, I'm like, well, maybe. Okay, this is really making me mad. Why do you keep doing that? Um, maybe I should just use the tickets and just really. Here, maybe that will help. Um, maybe just focus on getting Harry Potter done so it's done and then I don't have to worry about it anymore. And not really worry about the 
main characters this month. Because I think it would kind of be cool just to get Harry Potter done. And even maybe skip next month's Gilmore Girls and just get Harry Potter done. Because I think I could do it. Okay, is this where... I think this is where I'm supposed to go, right? Yeah. So, I don't know. Um, I just know that Harry Potter's driving me up a wall. And I would just like for it to be done and not have to worry about it anymore. Because it is quite frustrating. But then again, I just want Gilmore Girls done too. So, I don't know. What I really should do is just move over since I'm so excited about using the other pattern and just do the motifs on Harry Potter in the one section that I knew that I was going to struggle with anyway. So, okay, so now we go here. Here. I got to get my pattern going on this side now. Here. And yes, I twist my thing because I don't care which way my stitches go. When you step back, you can't tell that those stitches went this way or that way. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm gonna let you guys go because Toby's gonna start barking and I will come back later on and tell you where oh, I'm at. Oh, sorry about last night. Um, when I was doing the stitch with me, um, Becca and John came home and whenever they do, Toby goes crazy. So I had to stop it real fast because you would have heard a lot of barking. So, anyways, I did 900 stitches yesterday. I am so proud of myself. I'm hoping to finish it today because all I have is right here to finish. The most was the border and this, so I'm thinking I can whip this out in no time. There's a chick here, and I don't remember what else is here. But I'm very excited, and then... I think after this, I'm going to do something fun. I don't know. Um, now, I can warn you next week, there's not going to be a lot of stitching because my goal is to really knock out the bobbinating the um, pip and chip bobbins. So I want that done so I can pull some um, projects and just have have a whole bunch up here just ready to go and not be so <sighs> focused on certain ones. I know I have the five that I have to focus on each month, which is fine, but I really want to be able to work on other things too, because it's really getting boring working on the same things over and over again and being like pigeonholed into it and I want, there's, it's just, I have so many other ones that I want to work on. And I don't know. So I'm hoping tonight this is a finish. And then I'm thinking about going to Harry Potter Gnomes. Because I really want to work on that one. So we will see. Um, this is the last clip of the week. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I know there was a lot of little clips and only a little stitch with me but it's getting back into the thing the groove of doing it and I had a couple of days where I didn't stitch this week but I overall I think I did really good and I had how many finishes this week too so I'm very excited with my progress so I hope you come back next time and watch bye guys and I forgot to show you guys the the new babies so we have nothing showing because we just planted new ones up there. And then we got the potatoes going. But look at all the babies. They're growing so good. And then Becca labeled each one. So, and I did the, where the water can drain. So we're super excited. 
So, oh, I decided to. Now, it's been a while that I took out the music at the beginning, the, you know, the beginning clip with the music, and I'm really liking it. So I decided this time I'm going to take out the ending music where it said thank you for watching. Um, please subscribe or something like that. So I just, I hate having the music in it. I feel like it, it's just too much. So I'm going to try to remember at the end of each video to say, you know, do the liking and subscribing things. And I'm still going to put up the end clips so you can touch on those and go to the other links. So tell me if you guys like it without the music or not. And I will see you next week. Bye guys.